They love music, live it, and do not recognize competition. Their main goal is to move forward and grow in the environment of talented, like-minded people. Meet youth rock music by Ukrainian performers at the anniversary Chervona Ruta Festival. Watch in the program Pro Art. Rock and only live sound. Rock. This is rock. It should be melodious, tasty and cool. This is harmony, all is equal. Flutes, violins and female vocals. I'm not only a rocker, but also a part-time actor. <laughs> Good mood is the main thing. There are many cool rock bands, and this is very good. The festival is growing jointly with youth. Chervona Ruta is an all-Ukrainian festival of contemporary songs and popular music. Its main focus is to discover new names in modern youth music. There are a huge number of talented people in Ukraine. Young performers in musical bands that won regional qualifying contests at Chervona Ruta in a huge variety of nominations came to perform in the finals in the city of Chernivtsi. Ukrainians are musically very gifted. By musical talents, by voices, I consider Ukraine the second country in the world after Italy. It's my opinion. This year, 950 people from all over Ukraine came to perform at this great event. It's both very important and pleasant. The music at this festival is in the Ukrainian language, and those who come from eastern and southern regions of Ukraine, in fact, create for themselves a national identity. The first Chervona Ruta festival was held way back in 1989. It gave a kickstart to many famous artists of Ukrainian contemporary music. In the 1990s, almost all youth music of different categories and unique genres appeared at the festival known as Chervona Ruta. This is not only its positive feature, but it is its main shtick, and it has fortunately continued for 30 years. This means that the festival is alive and well and is constantly developing. To appear at the festival forums is a responsible task, exciting and also pleasant. After all, this is not just a concert of beginner musicians. This includes meetings, communication and exchange of experience, and it also enhances one's creative spirit and gives a major adrenaline surge to continue creating good music. Therefore, all the participants of the festival have prepared their most impressive performances. Let's open them up on stage and behind the scenes. Who is who? Introduce yourself, you rockers. Where the Vandor band from Uzgala Transcor Carpathia. This word is translated from the Hungarian and Slovak languages as traveler. The band Vandor plays ethno folk rock music. This is our composer Radion Sunline. Arsen Babichenko plays on guitar, the best in Transcarpathia. Kristina Surma is our violinist, best of the best, and Mitra Shevchuk is our drummer. We're a folk amateur band Red Fox from the city of Kahovka in the Kherson Oblast. There are six members in the band. We have a wonderful and simply virtuoso keyboard player. The team leader is a bass player, who is the only one who plays on a six-string bass guitar at the festival. We're the cello funk band from the city of Smila in the Cherkasy Oblast. There are four of us in the band. Our band exists for almost four years and for three months in this composition. We do experiments in an attempt to find our specific style that would sound interesting, to attract a directly young audience. The Sun in the Pocket band sings songs about good guys from the city of Cherkasy who rock. Our names are Alexander, Danilo, Andri, and Mitro. We play lively rock and roll music. The city of Zaporizhia, Banderstadt ZP band. Banderstadt is the city where band rights live, and ZP stands for Zaporizhia. 
and Ukraine today is a solid Bundestag. We play music in the folk rock style and present our three tracks, which tell about our love for Ukraine and Zaporizhia. Rock bands preparing for stage battles have characteristic signs that are immediately visible. This is a category of rock musicians that try their best to show their charm and creativity in everything, even in their images. It should be sincere. You can be a rocker inside, but you can also work in an office. If you get high from wearing such accessories as leather pants, berets, tattoos and so on, then it's cool. It's super. The modern world has become sophisticated and demanding in art, and authors find it harder to surprise and attract the public. But if their work will be full of sense, drive and, most importantly, lively synergy with national culture, they can achieve success, and then the world will see a new amazing talent. As always, musicians from cities like Zaporizhia, Luhansk, Slovyansk and Severodonetsk are impressive. Their representatives were also active during past festivals. It is very cool, very nice. And of course, our reality, so to speak, leaves its mark. War songs, songs in memory of the heroes who died on Maidan and in the ATO zone. Massive music. Mass music is called that way because it attracts masses of people. And when people, especially in Western countries, see that Ukraine has something modern, young, then they consider it a country similar to theirs. But music also has a national feature, especially when it is performed in our national language. I mean that the Ukrainian manner of performance differs from other countries. And this is exactly what attracts foreigners to our people and national traditions. The band members associate their expectations from such legendary festivals, not only with the chance to declare themselves personally. Young artists sincerely want the Ukrainian song to have a nice ring and delight people all around the world. What do we expect? We expect that we will survive as musicians and will continue to exist. I hope that such contests as Cervona Ruta will give a test of strength for both performers themselves and their willingness to go along this path into the future. I also hope that it will give the opportunity to meet together around the globe and make people understand that we share the same feelings and are not alone in this world. We're a small drop in the big ocean of a musical whirlpool, so finally we managed to join the anniversary Ruta. This is a very interesting experience and, of course, an emotional charge from any performance. It's extremely important for every artist to share his or her emotions and moods with the viewing audience. Anya sings all of our songs. She's our front woman and vocalist. We try to stick to playing strictly funk music. I do not see any rivals here, we are all united by music. We came to share our experience, but we also draw some new ideas from other bands to try and improve our music. This provides opportunities, enhances creativity, joint cooperation, some interesting and unique interaction with the environment, translation of ideas and implementation of internal ideas. It's all about creativity.
Bandarstadt is a Zaporizhian band that plays absolutely old and classic rock. And at the second pole is the Vandor band from Uzhgorod. It is very pleasant for us that people that live in our region supported us to participate at this festival. I would basically call it a Ukrainian Woodstock. We're very happy that it all turned out like that. I mean invitations and moral and financial support. And of course we're obligated to thank the participants of the festival and Ishtvan. Judging by the manner of performance, the rock band Vandor, headed by the famous Ushgrad musicians Ishtvan Halus and Rodion Sunline, prefers to play jazz music. But their style is Transcarpathian folklore and even a dialect mixed with Hungarian and Slovak music. Original, non-standard twists and turns and a unique mix of different musical styles is the main feature of the band. <laughs> In fact, no matter in what style you perform, the main thing is to convey to the audience very strong emotions and achieve a sense of harmony with synergy and show a creative flow in the live performance. Istvan sings with us. I cannot sing like him, while I am the backing vocalist. I just dance and simply try to play something fun in order to fill the pauses. Energy. Here everyone shares it. I compose these songs so that there is someone that can perform them. I'm very happy to be an important part of such a wonderful team. And this Ukrainian band from the glorious city of Zaporizhia has a patriotic orientation. It was founded in 2018, though it sacredly maintains the continuity of generations. The fact is that Bandarstadt is made up of both young performers and experienced rock musicians, who are still young in their heart and soul. I am the bass guitarist of this band and old musicians are the heart of our band. I've been playing with them since the early 1990s and continue to enjoy being part of this project. In my band, I'm involved in playing the drums. Age is not simply some kind of figures in a passport. I'm a singer of the Bunderstadt band and I perform folk vocals. I always try to add some semblance of tenderness to the hard sounds of the music of the band Bunderstadt. While the violin is academic, the sound of this instrument is clear to those who listen to Bunderstadt. I play guitar, it's a solo guitar. I think every member of the band should play their role appropriately. I compose songs and melodies. As for arrangements, our whole band does them. We all create them jointly with great inspiration. I think of our Ukraine and about the development and promotion of Ukrainian culture through the music of the Bandarstadt band. We're friends. I do not like such a word as competition. Most important is that everyone creates their music from feelings. There is no competition because we're close friends and colleagues. We should interact more with each other. This is very important because we have a single cultural space Ukraine. And we should take the best examples from musicians in all regions of Ukraine. Western, Eastern and Southern. Chervona Ruta forever. Bender Stadt.